I'm not at all convinced that over engineering is as much of a thing as simply poor design. Well, I think uh, by being so good at it, basically the only right way you get at such a good um, overall outcome is by over engineering, by putting all the bells and whistles on it, which uh, I, I remember the chieftain saying, Germany had to be building things, tanks like this because they, there was no way they could compete uh, for the numbers that the, the Russians and the US were putting out of the, the T-34s and the uh, Shermans. They had to build something that was so much better um, in such limited, more, even though they had more limited numbers, they had to be so much better that uh, they would be able to compete in, in the battlefield. Look, I, I hear what you're saying. We, we talked about this when we did the Tiger episode mm. in, that, in that they really had no option at all uh, except to build um, super tanks. Um, they, mm. needed, they needed a, a single tank that was four times better than the uh, their opponents because they didn't have the fuel and they didn't have the crews and they didn't have the steel to build lots of cheap tanks. And you can look at what the Russians did with T-34 and you know we've called this before the crap tank fallacy where you build lots of crap tanks but you lose them all and you lose the crews and um, you can't build expertise. So... Uh, they were onto the right idea with building better tanks, but I would just question whether they actually built that with this tank. Mm -hmm. 